even YouTubers. Let me put your mind at rest. In case you think my head has suddenly shrunk during the day. It hasn't. This is just a bloody enormous pipe. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a sublime to ridiculous. I smoke a lot of flakes. Right, I tend to go for smaller pipes, but I have a couple of uh, large ones than this one is. <laughs> Look, this is a Barling Escort, yeah? So, um, in it, I'm smoking some Bruno's Ready Rubbed. Okay, Ready Rubbed. Let me just take a little moment here. As of well, January this year, um, I'm not entirely sure this can be called ready rubbed anymore. Strictly speaking, it is, but it's more like a broken flake. Yeah. Now, I noticed it at the time when I first opened it, having smoked this for a oh, good number of years. And written on here, you know, from the 1st of January, the cut width of pipe tobaccos will increase to a minimum of 1.5 millimeters under EU legislation. The exceptional quality and taste of St Bruno remains uncompromised. Who has got the job of determining the cut of tobacco? What a job, that's what I want. Anyway, that's the housekeeping over. Mm. It still tastes brilliant. Yeah. I know not everyone likes it, but every time I have a bowl full of this, it just reminds me that if this was only the only tobacco left for me to smoke, I'd still be a happy man. Yeah, you know. Yeah. This is whistling. I'm an extremely good smoker. I have one other barling. Let me just do this as a comparison. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. David and Goliath. Beautiful little um, rustication that one. Bit of a nose warmer. Yeah. But again, superb smoker. Now, <clears throat> the main reason for this video is touching on um, something I skipped over really quickly in the video I did about my pipe restoration. And I wanted to revisit it really. And it's kind of a plea and a request for some advice. When I was going through my little toolbox, a very unsophisticated toolbox box, I was picking up all these little things I've got to use. I picked up this bag, yeah, which you may or may not remember, it was gone fleetingly. And I said, and I've got these antler horns. Now at the time, the word um, tampa was formed by my brain, sent down my synapses and receptors to my vocal cords but somewhere in the fraction of a nanosecond it took to get there, it turned into the word reamers. <laughs> what? So, a little word fart. I don't think anybody noticed it. But I wanted to come back to that. Yeah, let me show you. I have these, I don't know whether I can get this on this camera. I have a number of, um, can you see those? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, old cutoffs from the um, ends of deer horn. Yeah. Why have I got those, you may ask. Damn reasonable question. And I have these as well. So, you know, off cuts of antler horn. Yeah, which I used to cut the ends off. Because I was using these at one point to make walking stick. Bear with me one second. You know, very much like these. I'm not going to get the whole blasted stick in there. Um, yeah, so the ends of hazel sticks, seasoned hazel sticks. Um, I was making them, but because I had to keep going over to my father's and use his garage and his tools and stuff there, it just became a bit of a chore, it was really, really slow going. But it meant that not using these sharp bits, it's a bit dangerous on the end of a walking stick, I used to cut them off and I kind of accum accumulated some really. So I thought, <coughs> give them a good clean up, um, they might make some good tampers. Now, I did a prototype one, um, which I haven't bought in here, and I can't be bothered going to get it. Where it was just polished down, or sanded down to a highly polished, so it still had the kind of brown markings, really nice. And I just flattened the end off really straight. 
as a tamper and it worked really well but it kind of made a mess in the end of it um, it'd get all the ash and stuff in it and you couldn't really clean it properly regardless of how smoothly I'd actually polished it down so I put the end in a bit of various types of varnish and sealant but that used to burn and crack and it was really rubbish so I thought well, I need something else on the end of it and this is not an original idea of mine and everyone does it and it's probably going to seem completely obvious but I first got the idea ages and ages and ages ago from Mike Flieger with these exquisite wooden tampers and he put the cut off ends of shell casings on there that's what I want really just to bum on the end of these polish them up um, to make some nice tampers not for any commercial reasons at all um, just have a go at them cut for myself and then hopefully give some away if it works out that's something else I want to do trouble is and this is probably because I'm in the UK here is that they're bloody difficult to get hold of well uh, as far as the efforts I've made to look into it have been they are uh, I was a bit reluctant to look on the internet for them you know empty shell casings <clears throat> I thought, well, is that an odd thing to search on? I thought, well, odder things have been searched on the internet. So I had a go. And maybe I'm just searching wrong on there. Uh, oh, that has gone out. Bear with me a second. And my endeavours to search all came up with, you know, American sites mainly that sold live rounds and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> now I know you guys have brothers in America, they just go out in the back garden, fire off a few rounds, pick the cases up, off you go. That doesn't quite work like that in England. So the next thing I looked at was like a rifle club or a gun club. <clears throat> now I only have one nearby me, um, and which they do fire off rifles on I understand from their website so um, I have tried to phone them several times unsuccessfully nobody answers the phone and I've also emailed them with my request still with no reply now unless they think I'm some kind of crank or I'm bonkers why does this guy want our used shell casings and I've even explained why I want them perhaps that was the wrong thing to do um, I've had no response from that really so this is predominantly to the guys who live in the UK um, it's a really odd request I know but and probably stupid, I am stupid. Any idea where I can get some from quite easily? You know, I don't want to have to go buy these things from old um, military shops, you know, the full um, decommissioned rounds, because they could be quite expensive, really. I just want, you know, a dozen or so old used rifle cartridges um, to stick on the end of these tampers, really. So that was the purpose of this video. Um, it's a shame like was pipe, really. <laughs> Which is going nicely. You know, as always it's gone on longer than I thought uh, I'm going to try and do another video tonight just on well, I've done nearly a month now on YouTube and, and my feelings about it so I'm hoping I get that done tonight tomorrow or probably Friday as I did mention in an earlier video I do want to do my um, 12 pipes I got off eBay so I haven't forgotten about that one I'm still going to do it and um, one thing I have forgotten which I mentioned right in my introductory video I think is try perhaps this weekend although my friend's down this weekend he's just come back from a five month stint in America um, we may just be drinking lots of beer there um, uh, I wanted to do a snuff video as well so I'm going to stop rambling again um, please guys either you know send me a private message or just drop me a comment and be really nice to get hold of some of these little casings just so I can use them and have a little go and hopefully the fruits of my um, efforts will be um, winging your way if I'm, I'm successful with these. I've got about a dozen I can make up actually and they should be fairly easy. So uh, thanks very much. Sorry I've rambled again. Ta-da.